Did somebody say hot toys? Yeah, let's get it unboxed. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel for another Hot Toys review. And today we have none other than The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and this is from Spider-Man No Way Home. So this is the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. So super stoked for this one. Excited to see how well that Andrew Garfield portrait looks and all the other cool accessories that it comes with. So before we get into the unboxing, this review today is sponsored by our good friends over at Bits and Buttons. Bits and Buttons, folks, creating memories one toy at a time. I will leave the link in the description below for their Instagram. Make sure you're following them. They're always posting when they're getting new items and new inventory in the store. So hit them up, check them out. Tell them Seth sent you. You never know. So, <laughs> all right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get this unboxed. But first, you guys know how I like to start my reviews. Let's get it on the turntable. Take a look at the box. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the accessories. So first up, we've got the stand. So we got that cool, amazing Spider-Man 2 logo. This is like a matte um, textured finish. The, and then the, uh, the Spider logo has some gloss to it. Also right there on the front, you see the amazing Spider-Man. So this comes with a rod and waist grabber, which is great because I'm not a fan of the crotch grabbers for these types of figures, so kind of cool that they come with that. Then we also get a slew of web accessories. Now, most of these are the quintessential web accessories that normally come with the Spider-Man figures. So we've got the grasping swinging one. We've got like the web net kind of, and then we also have a slew of blast effects so we got like two of the web blasts right there we got two of the long regular clear web effects so again basically all the normal stuff that comes with a spider-man again they repurpose these web blast effects on basically almost every single spider-man figure at least that i've ever opened and i've seen so there's that we also get this cool um mask by itself now this does not actually fit on the hot toy it doesn't stretch over enough this is just so you can have him like unmasked if you want it does come with a portrait which i'll show you in a minute so we got that which is really cool and again i like the detail on the eyes so and again it's just like a soft goods mask which is cool then we get a slew of web hand different kind of hands so we get like piece finger pointing open hands we get the web blaster hands these are the effects that attach to the wrists so you can actually plug in the webs so pretty cool paint job on there everything looks really cool i like the red very bright and vibrant so we have the hands and then last but not least we get this really cool looking andrew garfield portrait kind of cool um ears are kind of throwing me off a little bit but other than that looks pretty spot on so yeah i'm digging it i like it i think it looks cool so and then again it goes down into the neck so we'll show how that plugs in on the figure too at some point and yeah so i mean that's really basically it for the accessories didn't really come with much but yeah let's go ahead now let's bring the figure in and let's take a look all right guys and here is the figure so first impressions looks really cool i like it a lot definitely in line with the movie as you would hope got that cool spider-man logo on the back 
obviously you got it on the front it's cool because the um the webbing on the suit does have texture to it so it is it is really cool like that um and then obviously we've got this now i've never really a fan of the material that they use on the legs and actually on the arms because i'm always afraid when you go to pose it what's going to happen is that you're going to stretch it too far it might tear so i wish they would do a little bit better job on this material now as far as overall appearance goes like i said it looks really good it is accurate um the one thing that is really cool right now we'll get into the articulation is that these actually have ratcheting joints so the head movement um you can go left right up down with it the arms you can hear the ratcheting so i like that that's really cool um you only have single jointed elbows you do have double jointed knees the legs do ratchet as well um, you do get torso crunch and there is ratcheting with the torso again which is great i like that like i said double joint the knees you do get really good pivoting with the foot there is no toe articulation however the leg goes up yay high goes back yay far and again like i said with the material you always got to be careful because you don't want to stretch it too much to where it creases so when they have material like this it's like it's almost better just to keep it in like a museum pose when you put it on display just so you don't ruin it or anything like that so uh yeah overall pretty cool figure so let's go ahead now and let's get this thing into some poses So overall, guys, um, pretty cool figure. Um, there are th some things that, you know, I'm on the fence about. Like when I was doing the photo shoot, trying to pose and balance. I like to try to do that stuff without the figure stands because obviously you guys know as well as I do. If you have detoffs or displays or anything, the figure stands eat up the uh, with the bases, eat up the display and the space and everything. So I always try to pose without having to use that very difficult with this one it seemed very lopsided didn't want to balance right so i mean it could be me i mean listen i'm sure there's other people out there that can pose figures way better than me i mean obviously but uh yeah but i, I had a little bit of issue with trying to balance and do some really intricate poses and stuff like that without having to use the the stand and the base and everything so that was a little wonky again also i'm not a fan of the material because again if you leave it in such a position for over time it does leave creases it does stretch out um i wish they would start using better material when they make these types of spider-man figures because again you want to be able to pull the legs and the arms as far as you can without having to worry about possibly tearing the fabric and the material because again it's a little bit of a stiffer material that they use um and again the accessories that we get just very plain jane run of the mill again you get the basic web shooters and blast effects and all all that other stuff and you normally get and you get the web blaster hands and the peace sign and some fists and all this stuff the real star of this figure is actually the andrew garfield portrait very well done again hot toys has done in my opinion very few times that they've missed on the portrait again this is not one of them i think they hit the nail right on the head with the andrew garfield portrait again and i think that's the star of the show for this also this is the standard version they do make a deluxe version that comes with the lizard base and the lizard sitting there reaching up and everything from the fight that they were doing over at the statue of liberty in no way home so uh yeah guys that is gonna wrap up another review for this week thanks so much again for watching also guys do not forget to go follow bits and buttons again the link will be in the description below for their instagram make sure you follow them again they're always posting when they get new stuff in and as always bits and buttons create memories one toy at a time so that's gonna like i said that's gonna wrap up another figure review for this week i hope you guys enjoyed i got more lined up in the pipe and uh yeah, so as always, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next figure review.